Hi, I'm Dr. Noreen, and I'm here to talk to you today about my new book, Talking Toxicology. The reason that I wrote this book is because I wanted to help the masses really understand how toxicology touches us in our everyday lives. You know, sometimes we hear the word toxicology and it's really overused and sometimes we only think of it in one small aspect in regards to maybe a post-mortem type of test or something, but toxicology touches us everywhere we go. Every time we enter into a new environment, we breathe a different chemical mixture that's simply unknown. So you have to be aware and educate yourselves on what, what toxins are, where you can find them, how to recognize them so that you can reduce your exposures. It's not that you're gonna get away from toxins and toxicants, but you can do something to minimize the amount of exposures you have because the thing is, the dose generally makes the poison. It's kind of a loosely translated phrase from the father of toxicology, who was Paracelsus. Dosis sola facit venenum. The dose makes the poison. So the thing is, that means anything can be toxic. It depends on the dosage. But as a toxicologist, it also depends upon the contact time, the duration, how much is actually absorbed by your body. So. What I did with this book, I put together a really easy to understand compilation of what's the difference between toxins and toxicants, how to identify some of those toxic roommates that we live with at our home, at work, in our car. Um, I also talk about biology because a lot of us know that we have this great system of organs and systems or sometimes we really don't even know what's inside of our bodies. So I give you a really good basic education about our detoxifying organs, our detoxifying systems, and that really helps you to understand that when you come in contact with these various chemical exposures, how they can affect your body. Your body's designed perfectly to help us, you know, maintain uh, our good lifestyle while being while we're constantly inundating ourselves with toxins and toxicants however if you get to the point where your body can't actually handle the amount of toxins that we're exposed to then your body's going to start showing symptoms symptoms that you may think are not um, anything that you're going to pay attention to like a lack of focus lack of being able to actually concentrate for a long period of time irritability, mood swings. Some of this could be traced to a long-term low level or chronic exposure to a various variety of chemicals. So again, it's important to educate yourself, know what you're potentially being exposed to so that you can recognize what's in your environment, take the steps to reduce it, and live a nice realistic life. I mean, we've got a start date, our birth date, an end date, which is our death date, but we've got this dash that we're living right now. And so in order to improve the quality of your dash and even extend that dash, it's important to realize what's around you at all times. So again, Talking Toxicology, it is very easy to read. It's not a really long book. It's not highly technical. It's not gonna teach you how to become a toxicologist, but it's like taking years of toxicology courses and boiling them down into something that's just easy to read Take, with, take it with you wherever you go. You can look in, in there and say, oh, what was it that she said about nutrition toxicology? You know, what kind of foods can I incorporate into my diet to help boost my detoxifying organs and help my system out? It's in the book, keep it with you. So it's a great read for anyone. So I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that you follow me on Twitter at Dr. Noreen or like my Facebook page, which is Dr. Noreen, Dr. Noreen, www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Noreen spelled out. And or just come to my website, drnoreen.com because I'm here for you. I love questions. I love to be able to translate the language of science into something that's really useful and understandable to all. There's no point in having this education if I can't share it with the masses.